Hey guys, I uh, wanted to give you guys uh, an update on the DTF printing. Um, so right now our DTF printers are still set up. They have been running great. Uh, not a lot of issues. Um, so as you can see, I have a shirt here um, and I will go ahead and print one with our new setup that we, we got made. Uh, we made ourselves here. Um, this is our old system from our previous videos, how I have the dampers. Um, currently uh, to the pressurized system and then we have the lines directly to the print head. Um, I did have to modify, make modifications to, to this in order for this to work. Um, as you can see the lines running all the way to the ink cartridges. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, print something out for you guys for you guys can see how well this has been. Um, we only do one uh, head cleaning uh, every morning now from this printer. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this printed and you guys can see. So we're back with the video and as you can see it is uh, printing now. Um, so you guys can see how smooth and quiet and nice it, it looks. Um, and I'll show you the result after it's done printing once it shoots it out. Uh, we currently still are using our standard um, aluminum um, piece here for the exit tray um, and just some padded uh, from Harbor Freight um, some padded things a few dollars um, aluminum sheet that we had uh, laying around and um, again as you guys can see it's uh, really smooth how it prints and it shows uh, everything um, takes about four to five minutes per print I want to say um, sometimes a little quicker um, depending on the design, how many colors, um, but it does great. Um, DTF is the revolution, I believe, and it's been doing great this past couple months that we've been doing DTF. This setup has by far been the best. Um, you can see how smooth it slides through um, and how nice it starts printing, uh, how nice our inks are. If you guys are interested in asking about our inks, you're more than welcome to. Um, we do sell our inks. If you guys are interested in purchasing our inks, uh, just let us know in the comments. Um, also, one other thing I wanted to mention was if uh, if you guys want to see any other kind of videos, uh, DTF, uh, we do a lot of stuff, uh, but uh, DTF for this channel. If you guys wanted to see anything different, uh, just let us know uh, in the comments. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget. Um, and just in general, if you guys uh, want to see any other kind of videos, please comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, how you guys want to see a video on how to run the uh, the preheater here through a uh, automatic uh, shaker um, through our row feed. We have uh, the setup back here uh, against the wall, drilled to the wall. Uh, we have it aligned directly on here. Different processes, different ways. But if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys comment and let me know that you guys want to see that, so I can make a video on how to set this up. Um, I will be converting this one to. Uh, I'll be removing the pressurized system, um, and I will be doing the same thing as our first printer. Um, but this will be finishing up here in one second. You guys can just go ahead and watch it print. And let's go ahead and check it out. What do you guys think? Beautiful print. Colors are beautiful. Uh, my inks are very specific. Uh, the beautiful white uh, coating on the color. And I'll show you guys how I dry this and how I um, powder and cure single sheets. So we'll get go ahead and get started on that. Um, we have this. Uh, oven here we use for our single sheets so uh, it does have the capability of doing the a3 plus size much bigger sheets we just curl it up curl it up in here just like that to make a bigger one fit and it cures perfectly fine what we like to do is let this sit here in front of the the heat to dry for uh, I'd say about 15 to 25 seconds uh, I just turned it on so it might take a minute. 
so guys we are back with uh it curing or not curing but uh drying we want to be able to see a matte finish uh or a satin finish look before powdering so we're going to go ahead and powder it real quick and uh, i'll show you guys the end result i just do one time tap tap it put it in the oven here i like to keep the the doors opened um, it takes about, I'd say, 20 seconds uh, for it to cure, uh, 30, uh, 30 seconds uh, uh, max. Um, and the fumes are definitely not healthy for you, so I would definitely uh, open up a window, uh, which I have a couple a couple fans here, uh, a fan blowing out all the, the fumes. We have another fan over here where our dryer is um, to get all the fumes out. Um, so we try and keep it ventilated. We have a huge garage uh, that we keep our door open, our front door open for any kind of fumes. Uh, don't want to go get poisoned, um, but you know how it is, um, just situations. Um, want to make sure we're healthy um, and safe on how you guys do this. I uh, definitely recommend gloves if you guys feel safe with, uh, with gloves on. Um, so it's pretty much done curing. Uh, that took probably, what, 20, 25 seconds um, we want to be able to see like a uh, orange peel finish to the design and that should be pretty much the end result um, there and you guys can see same design on the shirt and same design on this uh, transfer film uh, again if you guys want to see any kind of other videos uh, just uh, you guys please let me let me know uh, in the comment section uh, below and uh, if you guys are interested in our inks uh, also uh, let me know in the comments uh, we can get in touch and we can go ahead and get you guys shipped some uh, dtf uh, inks that we have um our bigger white one liter inks there's no label on it yet um we also create our own labels we do wide format printing we do we do a lot of stuff you, you guys let me know what you guys like to see uh please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and if there's anything else you guys want to see please comment let me know um again this new ink system non-pressurized system is a lot smoother a lot better uh, so i recommend going with this uh, this setup here uh, i will be converting this one to a non-pressurized system um, again fade away project uh, we're out thank you guys for joining me i'll talk to you guys later